Okay, hello. How are you? Hope everyone is doing well. Uh, this is Shin again. This is uh, series number seven. One of the largest uh, automaker asked me to continue doing this, and uh, I uh, wanted to uh, put my time for a couple of minutes. Series number seven. So this time it will be uh, Japanese business three major different aspects. So part one, we did this uh, background uh, mainly on Japan and basic size, ethnicity, and uh, obvious differences. Part two, homogeneity, heterogeneity differences between mostly Japan and the U.S. and other uh, parts of the world with the culture map. And uh, part three, uh, we went macro to micro, micro to macro differences based on these difference uh, culture. Uh, peach culture versus uh, coconuts uh, culture, how they're different, and uh, how, how we may be able to adjust when we interact. And then part four was uh, education. Uh, if you want to go back and we watch that, that'll be uh, helpful to understand Japanese, how they're raised, and uh, mostly on the collectivism and uh, points deduction system uh, as a background where other parts of the world, uh, it's a points addition system as you get the correct answers. It's a big, big difference. And the last time was uh, mainly on the Japanese uh, greetings and manners and basics. And, uh, oh, uh, there's a part six, uh, Japanese business must, which is horenso, uh, which is an important part of communication in conducting business with Japanese. And this time, We'll focus on genuities, homogeneity, heterogeneity. How the, does that impact besides these differences we talked about earlier? So mainly uh, three uh, points here. One is a communication style. It's a, Japan's a listener responsibility as a homogeneity. Everybody's same and uh, mostly uh, uh, same thought process, same background, ethnicity. So. We understand each other pretty much, so what we say, uh, they should understand. So if you don't understand, you have to present yourself and raise uh, and uh, try to understand by yourself, trying to study, dig into it deeper. Uh, where U.S. is a speaker responsibility, uh, whoever is speaking must uh, be able to speak so that people understand. And uh, as long as you keep asking questions, they have to uh, reiterate uh, to uh, have you understand better. Uh, it's a big difference. And interpersonal-wise, the vertical versus horizontal. So in Japan style, you may uh, interact verti vertically uh, and you feel more vertical pressure, uh, but uh, that's not for the pressure, but the way it is set up as a business communication. You have to uh, understand that part and the uh, uh, customer is uh, honored uh, and with a, you must interact more politely uh, compared to suppliers and uh, uh, those are more respected uh, than uh, other parts of the world. Where in the United States, it's uh, horizontal more, uh, everybody's uh, fair and equal. Uh, it's uh, utmost first because they're different. Heterogeneous also has to play with it. And uh, thoughts, uh, Japan, as we went over doing education too, but the correct answers, we uh, tend to ask for uh, correct answers. So when you asked and you don't have an answer, uh, uh, you, you can tell them that uh, this is the best we could do or uh, this is the best idea we can think of. Uh, how do you think of it? Uh, whereas uh, U.S. and other parts of the world seek, uh, since they're different already, different thinking, different thoughts, seek optimal uh, solutions so that most of the people agree on or team members agree on. So these three, uh, if you can put these things in in your head somewhere uh, during the course of business conducts and uh, practices or communications. Uh, I think it'll, a lot of things will start to cl clarify uh, for you. And uh, uh, we hope to see you again. Thank you.
Please don't forget to subscribe.